Oh, what a... Realization, part two. John braked hard to a stop in front of his gate. He could see Ed's truck already in the drive and Jimmy coming up behind him. Jimmy came up behind him. He leaped out of his truck and ran up onto the porch. Ann came out the door to meet him, followed by the rest. It was plain the women had been crying, and he gave his wife a tight hug and a kiss. I'll get her back, darling. I swear to you, I will get her back. Ann wiped away her tears and said, I know you will, John. Mike called and said he's on his way, but he's coming from north of Newberry. County Central called and said the sheriff is coming too, but he's in Ocala. You order to take charge until he arrives. John nodded and said, okay. Just then Rick came up on a bicycle and Stevie Daniels ran up carrying a lever-action rifle. John said he wanted to wait a few minutes before making their plans to give Miguel and the others a chance to arrive. The rain began to fall harder and the temperature was dropping steadily, so he went inside to round up his foul weather gear. When he came back out, he dumped his lined military poncho on a porch chair and finished belting on his big revolver. An SKS was slung over his back. Ann gave him the bag with Melinda's jeans in it. Are you going to try to use Jake to track Mel? Will he do that? Her husband said, I don't know. I do know that she raised that dog from a pup five years ago when Dad gave him to her, and he'll follow her anywhere that she'll let him. It can't hurt to try. Miguel pulled up in his truck with his two sons and several other men. The radio crackled and John answered. It was Ed Harris saying that he had six men on the road and more coming so that he expected to be able to keep a long portion of U.S. 27 in sight. The assembled men discussed the best placements for Ed's men according to where they thought the kidnappers were likely to go and would extend the surveillance line as more people became available. Over the next 15 minutes, 20 men had arrived, so John decided they had enough to get started. They'd incorporate newcomers as they went along over the radio. Before they left, John turned to Ann, Lisa, Ellie, and Brittany then said, Until we eliminate these predators, the rest of you should be in, could be in danger, so this is what I want you to do. Listen carefully, because I am dead serious about what I say. Until I tell you differently, if anyone other than myself, Mike, or the sheriff tries to come through that gate, without your permission, you shoot them. Don't try to reason with them, and for damn sure, don't let them get within 20 feet of any of you. Just shoot them. The bastards already have my daughter. They're not getting anyone else. Do you understand? Yes, dear, I understand. Get her back, John. Darling, I will get her back. Believe it, darling, I will get her back. The posse donned their gear and weapons, loaded up onto Miguel's and John's trucks, and headed for the intersection where the girl had been taken.